Hello and welcome to Game Reactor Live. I'm Dode Haltusson. This is Thomas. Such a beautiful pronunciation. Yo, I thank you. It's good that my <laughs> pronunciation of my own fucking name is great. Thank you. Uh, we're here to talk about MOBAs today. Um, we're going to, of course, talk about the King of Kings, League of Legends. Yep. But uh, before we do that, we're going to take a look at a game that came out a couple of days ago. And or, already I foresee that we will be uh, receiving like spam mails from uh, people angry at us calling League of Legends that instead of Dota. But <laughs> we don't want to go into a, a like war well, of religion here. So Dota 2 isn't officially out yet. It's still it is. It is. Oh, it's not it still yeah, in beta. No, no, no. So we can't even use that as an excuse. Shit. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> we're going to start out by playing a game called uh, Dragons and Titans. Yes. Uh, take a little look at it, and we got some uh, codes to give out. One, One code, code. Yep. for a lucky member in the chat, so that uh, you can get a little boost uh, in game. Starting your game, yeah. Um, some crystals. And some stuff. crystals, yeah. It, basically, the currency of the game, I believe, uh, you get a small boost too. So um, you'll be able to buy some cool equipment and dragons and everything that that makes this game good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I guess uh, for everyone who hasn't or maybe have been living under a rock for the last couple of years, mm. the, the whole uh, market for MOBAs, yes. as they're so popularly called, has just Exploding. exploded. Yeah. Uh, probably mostly on the back of League of Legends and then uh, Dota 2 has certainly also taken its share of the yeah. market. Um, so it's... Uh, do, you, do you remember the, the exact... Um, uh, it's multiplayer online yeah, yeah, battle it's arena. Yes, yeah. it's also known as an ARTS, action ah, real time yes. strategy. Yeah, it's it's five Mobile on flows better. Yeah, it's it's typically a five on five um, strategy game, uh, real time strategy game where uh, you have you 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 need to work as a team to to secure victory. And it's really it's one of the few games um, that have captured me. Uh, and, and, and got me into the whole team playing thing because uh, before that it was mostly shooters and I never got around to doing that. So um, that's pretty much it. Yep. I should say I've only played Dragons and Titans for a couple of hours so far. Uh, really just begun the game and this is a new profile as well. Um, so it will kind of be as we go with this game. Yes, however in League of Legends you've played several hundred hours. Uh, but thousands. Uh, thousands yep. even. Uh, but we are going to start up a new profile, correct, for League of Legends? Uh, Was that the plan? Yeah, I don't know about that. We might use mine. I haven't really decided yet. Okay. But uh, it's not. <laughs> I should say it's not that I'm um, that I'm uh, particularly nervous about people seeing my profile or anything. It's just because I don't. Because you already to. get enough flag anyway. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I, I I do. Okay. So let's get started on this. Uh, Dragons Titans. Of course, it's also a mobile game, but it is also a game that uh, tries to put its own spin on the whole genre. That means single-player missions as well, that doesn't necessarily function as a typical mobile would. Yes, and this game is free to play it's free on to play. Steam. Yep. Uh, of course, then you need to buy packs for uh, crystals and stuff like that. You, you or, uh, and the acts of the single-player are sold. Uh, no, 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 no. Everything in the game is free. Oh. Um, then I read... I Something hor horribly wrong. Sorry about that. Um, the, the the only thing I've uh, the only stuff I've seen so far in the game that is uh, is something that you will have to pay with your hard-earned cash is uh, is actually um, costumes. Okay. Um, of course, you can still buy uh, boosters and everything yeah, like you see here. Here's something called daily bundles that you can pay for. Um, and also, let me just go in here again. Roll the dice, and I'll be able to get a daily bonus that usually gives me some crystals. Yeah, okay. And crystals is the currency of the game that you also earn for victories and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and then I'm guessing the the shield there that you have ten of that's premium currency. Yes. yes. Uh, as you can see here, war marks they're called. Yeah. Yeah. So I think. Um, Oh yeah, I should also show this. Um, so we'll get into this later also with League of Legends, but um, Dragons and Titans also have separated uh, the dragons you're flying on from your profile. So your profile will actually level up, that's your character. Okay. Uh, and you can transfer the, the, 
the skills of each individual profile onto the dragon, if that makes any sense. So for instance, I can buy weapons for my profile, mm -hmm. which is remaining. Oh, oh. And these weapons will give me certain bonuses or will give my profile certain bonuses okay. that I can combine with the dragons, uh, with already the dragon I choose. Okay. Oh, you got like a unicorn uh, costume for your dragon there. Yes, awesome stuff. <laughs> also, I can hatch uh, dragon eggs, which will give me dragons. These are all, the, the ones I'm getting right now are all level one because yeah. I just started, but apparently later on you can get lucky and actually get heavily uh, uh, leveled, leveled up. up dragons. dragons okay. are, yeah. okay. And of course, you always have the option to just pay for some more yes, if you want to. Of course. Okay. So, do you know if you lose a dragon in battle, is it gone? You I don't. I don't think so, um, because I also noticed that um, they have free dragons for a certain amount of time. So, for instance, I, I believe it's the same system as in League of Legends, where each week or maybe even each day they will have a certain couple of dragons that are just uh, randomly selected yeah. that people can play for free and then unlock if they want to continue playing them. Okay, so I just uh, on this profile I just started, and this is actually the first act of uh, the single player component yeah. of the game. I want to just go into that. You can choose difficulty. So you can use that to kind of refine your skills before. Yes, but but the the the, the the quite peculiar thing about it is that these are actually single player missions that, at least for a lot of them, work completely independent of the mobile game. Okay. It's just uh, it's just with the same characters and stuff like that. So you will see that. Okay. So here I choose my dragon. And of course, they have different stats, different skills, and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty much up to you. Timber, what do you want to play? The I one with the most fire in the picture. That's pure. Yeah, that one. Should be that one, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. It must be the best one. And after I've chosen that, I can also choose a weapon that should compensate. The choose the, the unicorn horn. Sure. <laughs> that one? <laughs> the lance. That actually gives me. That's for support character, and I'm no, playing. Okay. okay. Probably should shoot. Yeah, no mind. We'll just choose that. You can actually see the little hero sitting up here with the <laughs> lance. <laughs> That's quite cool. Ready? And okay. Again, there will undoubtedly be uh, more uh, experienced players out there in this game than me. So uh, bear with me. Okay. So here we see the tower. In they're already being flanked by uh, yeah, just small enemy bots. Yep. Okay, so I just need to defeat these. Yeah, apparently the the game is uh, made in Unity and uh, or made with Unity and has yeah. also or is also playable in uh, in browsers. No, oh, okay. So I guess the Steam launch is just to uh, to get the game out to more people. Yeah. And it's also it's just nice to have the backbone of the, the store yeah. for uh, your, your purchases. And also having your Steam profile linked with the game. Yeah. Okay, so one little small detail I want to, uh, to mention here is that I actually have to pick up the gold myself. I have to fly over it. Uh -huh. And the gold isn't necessarily used for buying items in this game. Instead, I can use it on these gold depots where you can see down here. It actually gets turned into experience ah. and I get my health recharged, which is actually, actually a clever mechanic. Yeah. So I have to pick up the gold myself and um, the amount of gold that the dragon can hold at any one, one time um, is, uh, is limited, but I can also upgrade Yeah, which you can see on the, the bar down there. Yeah. yeah, but if I upgrade this skill, this is pretty much just upgrade everything about the dragon, mm. but not its skills. Health, uh, mana, so. region and gold carrying yes. capacity. Yeah. And uh, I can also just choose to upgrade my skills instead. I will choose this. And the two uh, slots you see down here are actually skills that are given to me by the item I choose before I go into okay. battle. So it, it does have some significance on uh, in your play. Okay, so I just chose like a rain down five thing. It's actually 
also like a weird option in the game, but it kind of works. So I directly control my dragon, right? Yeah. And I push left to just shoot. Yep. Don't have to push at an individual enemy. Uh, but if I press down space, <laughs> I can actually back up the dragon while shooting. Okay. So it's kind of, uh, I don't know, maybe a more direct sort of control than, than other MOBAs. It's kind of a funny idea, I think. Okay, so here's a big baddie. Destroy the two Skypers towers to free the Elder, beware of the rogue Noxwing. I mean, this is reminiscent of what you would do in a match against other players, but yeah. it isn't. It's, it's more set up like an yeah, individual. It's more kind of story. Yeah. Okay, so I'll get him clean up here. I'll try and use my newborn skill. And I didn't hit him at all. Oh. Shoot! Sure. Oh, also have this. Close. and already level four. Yes. Okay, so this gives me dash forward and spear targets. All the attacks do extra damage for a short time. Should probably just uh, level up my basic attack. Mm -hmm. But yes, these uh, these missions are definitely both meant as a way to give you some extra crystals, but also learning the basics of the game, like the controls and stuff. What are the uh, other attacks that you have tied to Q and W? You have so the the Q is my standard attack I use with the left button here, okay. and uh, the W is the rain down fire from above okay. that I just unlocked before, and that I can't hit anything with apparently at all. It's kind of a random in the way it hits. It seems not just for me. Okay. Um, I have a stand still. I have a recall button down here. Ah, okay. Yes. So you get sent directly to the gold depot. Yeah. What kind of confused me about that before is that uh, as in League of Legends, if I get interrupted while uh, while using it. Uh, I can teleport, but in League of Legends, it just resets immediately. Here, I have to wait 50 seconds again. Before you can try to use it. Before you can even try to use it again. That's okay. kind of strange. Okay, so let's go for the towers. I have no idea why it hits where it hits. It seems to take out like a whole grid in, uh, in front of you. Yeah. So we freed the Elder. So quickly in order to say blah blah blah. Okay, so there should be a brood nearby. Kind of weird controlling a dragon when you're backing it up. <laughs> Doesn't that look like a pool? Yeah, that looks like a prime location for a pool. Yes. It's a trap. And we are going to die to shreds. No, it's weird. There's no other option to, oh. to attack. Oh, that's close. Gold is full, and you need health. Uh, yeah, I uh, jump on home and uh, probably should do that. Yes. Also, I will lose my gold if I get defeated. Um, yeah. Without having dropped it drop. Up. But it is kind of um, nice to see that, I mean, there's a lot of uh, of uh, MOBA games being uh, being done by a lot of publishers and, and developers right now. And it is kind of nice to see that they're not just all following the strict, you know, um, what's the word, a blueprint yeah. that's, uh, that's set up by Dota and uh, League of Legends. 
Yeah, I mean, we have uh, Infinite Crisis that's just out with uh, all the characters from the DC universe. Yep. And uh, then, of course, Blizzard themselves are coming with Heroes of the Storm. Which yeah. Which looks really nice. And again... Which, uh, which is interesting because, I mean, the or origins of uh, MOBAs come from a StarCraft II mod. Uh, not StarCraft II, Warcraft 3. Oh, Warcraft 3? No. Yes. Oh, Jesus, my history is old. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, the the original Dota uh, map it was actually more of a map than than or people refer to it as a map. I, in in theory, it was more of a mod, but it was a map. It's yeah. like stupid history. Um, oh, I can't go in here. Okay, it lives at the end of the canyon in the east. So. So, don't go north. Shut up. <laughs> hey, there's a chest. What? Up to the left. Really? Okay. Oh, yeah, there's. Money! And our gold is full again. Money, 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 money. Now we're being asked in the chat by Branko. Uh, who's going to be hosting the GTA stream tomorrow. That is going to be me and uh, Nick. All right, yes. so what are you guys doing tomorrow? We're go doing uh, GTA Online on the uh, PS3. Nice. Continuing where we left off last time. Sweet. Is that uh, your solo game? That's fun, yeah. Okay. Still waiting for the PC version, right? Oh, yes, especially since I... You Got my new PC. Just yes. recently upgraded. The gold is full. You go home. No, no, it's uh, it's fine. I'll rock this anyways. Hope. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. The day I actually managed to hit anything. <laughs> with that. Yeah, with that rain of fire. Yeah. Completely useless. So, see, now you're just leaving gold hanging around. Yeah. You know how it is. Yeah. You know, the pockets full. Eagles keep getting bigger. I'm rocking this. Back up, dragon. <laughs> Back it up. Yikes! Of course they. What the hell? Yeah, you're rocking this. But it like homing. Yep. Fireballs. Yeah. From hell. Okay, so restart. Nice. Oh, so you just use the gold on that or what? Uh, let's say that. Yeah. Okay. Stupid fireballs! <laughs> oh, you dragged them right into it. On purpose. Mm hmm. No doubt there is uh, there's a lot of players that would be able to play this way more strategically than me right now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna die again. Homing fireballs. Yes. Shot from a tree that also makes eagles. <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound like that's strange. I mean, it's not as if we're flying a dragon. <laughs> With a lance bigger than the dragon and the rider itself. Yeah, I'm kind of... Why, why are, can't we use that lance? With, uh, Actually, our, our um, there's there's a skill to unlock it. Maybe that should be the next one I choose. Yeah. Okay. We need more ways to attack, that's for sure. Yup. Because this ain't working at all. Turn to the village and speak to the elder. Okay, dash forward and spear target. Yes. Okay. You That's still what have button. one enemy attacking you. Can you see what button it is? I'm way too blind. Is it E? E? Yoink. Yeah. And I didn't hit anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna return to speak with the other. Okay. Yes. 
So that's act, act uh, one one. And yeah. And again, there's a lot of content in here. So I both level up the dragon and the item itself. Yeah. And that's what we talked about before. At a later point of time, you will actually be able to uh, unlock dragons that are already powered up. Okay, so this is the ride itself that also ranks up. And I don't know. If okay, so later on, you will also unlock a rune system. Yeah. Um, that will give you even more ways of customizing your, uh, both your ride and your track. Yeah. Okay, so we, should we take one mission there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go for recruit once again. Just why, why don't you go for the legend difficulty? <laughs> did you just did you just see what I did before? Yeah. It was horrible. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go for Blade Forge. Wait, if you click that thing on the side, is that going to select? No. Okay. I thought it was like, oh, this is the dragon that would yeah. be best. Um, and I'm going to go for Just choose that one. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Crossbow. Yeah. From the skies. <laughs> so do we know how many levels are in this game? Uh, not necessarily. Again, it, no. it says there's like uh, 150 challenges here, yeah. I, but that seems to be the single pair. I don't know if uh, more will uh, lock up, uh, unlock as, uh, as you oh. go. No, but like, if you take uh, Le League of yes. Legends, for example, yeah, they don't. There's not a lot of uh, no arenas. No, 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 no. Um, they've had. I mean, League of Legends is definitely the the the. the you know the, the the game that can experiment experiment the most and and also invest uh, in the game to make these uh, these other game modes work and they have done so with an, it's not even new anymore but with a game mode called ARAM we might be able to to show that later on but um, but but the pure Dota game uh, or MOBA game it, um, is actually played on one specific map and you can't really change that. Um, without pissing people off. Because part of playing a MOBA is to learn the arena yes. by heart. And, uh, yeah, and also, even though the map may be the same, uh, Riot Games, the, the developer of uh, League of Legends, has, for each season, done a lot to, to upgrade the map and to make it more uh, tactical okay. in the way... Uh, for instance, if you play what what is called a jungler, um, a guy or a person who, who isn't uh, necessarily in any of the lanes, but but only goes in the jungle. There's much more possibilities uh, with the latest patch to actually make uh, that viable than ever before. Yeah. See, have you seen this? This is much better than before. Mm -hmm. Now I'm really rocking the game. So you do shots of red hot steel fire straight. Sounds cool. And now the dragon's yes. back down to level two, since we chose another dragon. Yeah, but also... And I that, that's when, what you mean. We, as a profile, level yep. up, exactly. and then we level up our individual dragons and uh, their stats. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm just a bit uh, disappointed that we're still not doing any damage at all. Should probably just go back with the gold and level up. But you've never been captured by a mobile game so far? No, I think the only real uh, MOBA that I've played was uh, uh, Infinite Crisis. Yeah. And we were invited to play that at uh, last year's GDC. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, that's also a game uh, that has kind of its own spin on a couple of uh, yeah. elements. Wait, turn right. Look at that wall. It has yellow outlines. That must mean you can break it. Very good. Probably not yet, but later on. Uh, but anyway, that was a lot of fun, but also just uh, it was fan service for me a little bit because yeah. I got to run around as the Joker and uh, of dropping clattering teeth that exploded and you know shooting people uh, in the face. Yeah. And also, and also it, it didn't hurt being uh, the uh, the single high uh, uh, second highest on my team versus uh, a bunch of uh, games journalists. Of course not. It never does. 
Something inside the tomb near the entrance. No, but but um, for uh, compared to to a lot of uh, the other games that are being um, developed in this uh, genre right now, Infinite Crisis definitely looks like uh, the closest one of the closest uh, games I've seen to to actually be a potential contender. Not only because of, because of the license, but also because the game looks really solid. I think. Yeah. Okay, I can't go in. Those riders came from some place nearby. The bowmen were guarding something inside the tomb near the entrance. Mm -hmm. So in the entrance we came from down below. Okay, I'll go down there. I'm sure dash. Didn't don't you have the, the dash thing on this one as well? Uh, I haven't. Uh, oh, oh. Maybe over there. Okay. Oh. Oh Sorry. shit, there's a giant bat. Horrible. Horrible stuff. Yes. Eat my light stool spears. <laughs> it's very awkward. Kiropta is no more. Dun dun dun. In Infinite Crisis, you're able to, uh, to pick up like. Um, Cars and and uh, like debris yeah. and, and yeah. throw it at your enemies, right? It's a lot of uh, like destructive environments yeah. and, uh, and stuff like that. And I also just feel that uh, uh, that license fits so well to the concept of a MOBA because it's the uh, the Infinite Crisis universe where there's well infinite uh, alternative realities. Yeah. So they can always add new heroes, which are, you know, a little play on something you kind of know before, but it's still new. Yeah, yeah. And like, uh, you know, the, uh, the the gothic Batman yeah. or, and stuff like that. And uh, and, and most every, um, like, superhero fan actually gets to play their favorite version of, uh, of uh, their favorite superheroes. Yeah. And they've done it in a way, it's like, because you have different classes with heroes, so, you know, you have the tank, you have the scout, type of characters and stuff like that, yeah. that uh, you can, if you want to play the Joker and you want to be a tank, there is an alternate oh, universe sweet. Joker that does that, you know yeah. what I mean? Okay. So, you know, you don't have to give up being your favorite hero just because you no. have a certain play style, yeah. which I think is brilliant. Yeah, I think that's right. Well. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm, um, I'm more and more impressed by this game, how, uh, how extensive the single player is. I yeah. mean. So far, it isn't like it has done anything revolutionary, but it, it, the more I play it, the more it feels like it isn't just something tacked on just yeah, yeah, to give yeah. it a difference. It actually... Uh, oh. I mean, yeah, the, the, I'm pretty sure these are not just the... <laughs> these are not just the avenues, uh, no, the, the, the lanes that you're playing in the... No, no, no. The, the, these these are like specifically yeah. designed levels. They are. Uh, upgrade the, the E, so oh. we can actually use the crossbow. You're right. A fan of arrows is... Oh, that sounds sweet. I yeah. should do that. Halo arrows falls so much. Yeah, I'll do that next time. Yeah. You still have one point, so go for it. Yeah, you're right. Go for it. There it is. Mm. I burn your babies. <laughs> wow, that's that's dark, man. Hey, it's you that's clicking the mouse, murderer. Yeah, I wasn't saying what I was doing. That's <laughs> you. Which is doing it because the game ordered me so, to do so. Oh yeah. Um, but I also think that this game shows uh, how the whole free-to-play market is progressing. I mean. Again, uh, I'm referencing uh, League of Legends a lot because it is kind of the king of the genre. Yeah. But um, unless I, I misunderstood it, anything about this game uh, so far, um, it's also one of the games that, that just lets you play the game all that you want and, and doesn't really hide anything from you besides uh, the costumes. And I mean, yeah. I've always been the kind of player who can actually 
you know, who, who hasn't necessarily th seen anything cool in having a unique costume. So, so just being able to play a game like this and just play it from start to finish, like using hundreds of hours on it, uh, without any sort of punishment, is kind of amazing. Yeah. So that means what? We've cleared out one gorge. We need to find. Yeah, but uh, there wasn't any way to progress over there. I think. Right up there, maybe. Don't get through there. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Remember me, Cannon Tower thingy. E. Use your arrows. There it was. Did you see it? Yeah. It was awesome. Ah, come on. Into the poison. I wonder, what are you using up for those revives? Uh, Must be some resource. I think in uh, single player, it might be because I'm playing on easy, ah. but uh, I'm only losing my gold, I think. Okay. Oh, this is dangerous. Getting hit by that tower. Yeah, let's just have a look at it. Yeah, it, it might, it, it probably also affects my score at the end of the level. Yeah, okay, probably. Would be strange if it doesn't. Having to control a, a dragon in reverse <laughs> is something that uh, <laughs> I clearly <laughs> haven't mastered yet. Okay, so that was all 10 here, right? Yep. And find the next. Right. I'm pretty sure it's if you uh, take a right. Okay. No, no, no. We'll go, go down into the, the main. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, and then take a right. I think it was there. Oh! <laughs> Backing up my dragon. Yes. So we should mention once again, if um, this right is anything you want to uh, to give a go, if this uh, seems like a game for you, yeah. we do have one Hellfire code of yes, grabs. of some, uh, some nice crystals so that you can uh, right away buy some, uh, some nice stuff for your dragon. Yeah. Should give you a boost from the start. Yeah, so you can either buy some eggs or you can buy some chests for items yep. and stuff like that. And probably do a hell, a whole hell of a lot better than uh, the one I'm doing here. Gold is full. Exploding bats. <laughs> of course. Gold is full. Do You're so greedy. Uh, we have skill points. You can unlock the R button, which is a hail of arrows. Probably, uh, hopefully, more precise than. Uh, oh, look at this! Yes, this is what we like. Yes, this dragon is so superior to, to the, the other one, one I played before. Said probably as a complete noob, but still. <laughs> yeah. So I guess my fire rating was off. Yes. You need to get out of there. I just did. No, further back, uh, right? Oh, that wasn't the first one? Yeah, quite uh, get, get for, even further back to where we started. Okay. Come on, dragon. Turbo. Oh, wait, talk to that guy. I don't think I can. Then eat him. <laughs> get <laughs> off the dragon and eat him. Okay, so. Get out of there means something else in this instance. Yes. Go even further in there. <laughs> <laughs> then get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> ah, okay. She knows. That was actually funny. You bypassed this boss by teleporting back to your gold stash. Yeah. Okay. Arrows. Yes. Hail of I arrows. just tried. Oh. Crap. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's kind of strange that that big a dragon can fly through here, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> I should have some trouble. Yes! Now You've who's rocking this the game? The invading Noxwing have been driven back. I dare say the village will have some peace for a time. Look how happy this dragon is. Yeah. Whee! <laughs> Oh, 
Blade Forge, you're my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Should we go for another mission? Uh, no, I'm thinking uh, we played a half an hour. Maybe uh, go to uh, League of Legends, and then might be we will go back to this right at the end and give out the code. Yeah, definitely. Um, by showing League of Legends, we can uh, show a bit more of. Uh, uh, it might sound negative to call it a standard MOBA. Mm -hmm. It's not meant like that. The like benchmark. The benchmark. Sounds yes. better. Okay, right? so I'll exit this game. And um, it's kind of strange, unless I'm mistaken. I just want to uh, try out something here. League of Legend. That's not. No, not no. Um, that's how long I've been playing it. When I bought it originally, I bought like a starter pack on Steam. Mm. Okay. That was uh, during the beta. So that's quite a while ago. Do we have it? Oh crap. Okay. Do where? Yeah, just uh, let me see. I see, because this new Windows 8 thingy, Magica. Not my start. Okay, so you, if you want to. Um, If you want to play League of Legends, you have to uh, get the installer um, separately, but you probably already know that since half the world is playing League yeah. of Legends. Okay, so as I mentioned before, in League of Legends you also have your profile separate of your characters. This is my profile. Yeah, so let's get that this window up on the stream. Let me see here. Yeah. Um, so this is the launcher here. Yeah, this is the launcher, yes. Uh, we have uh, the shop in here. Show that there's nothing really revolutionary in here, and it's quite slow. It still is after f five years or so. I don't know why. Come on, shabby. Um, League of Legends lets you get all the content in the game by just playing it and getting these uh, influence points. Influence points you can use to, call, to, to buy everything in the game. Yeah. Uh, everything besides the costumes, of course. Those are bought with riot points, uh, which are yeah. points. But it is way quicker to buy some heroes, right? Or actually, that's that's uh, that's a good point. Um, that, that that you asked that because if I just show you, if I just get it to sort on this, mm. see that's four hundred and fifty points. 450 points, and those are the cheapest characters, but yeah. 450 points you can probably make in two to three games. Okay. So uh, pretty pretty early on you can start uh, getting uh, some characters, and of course you can. And then if you go all the way down... Yeah, 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 you can unlock these. Uh, actually, every time they launch new characters, they might just have changed yet, but uh, a new character is, is priced at, I believe it's uh, 7,200 points. Okay. Um, and they go down to uh, 6,300. Yeah. Um, and these, uh, right now it only shows the characters that I don't have on this profile. Yeah. So, okay. You uh, have 6,000 points. Why don't you uh, splurge, get a, one of those new... No way. <laughs> no, I'm actually... Um, I usually save out my points for, uh, for every time they launch a new character. And I, uh, they have these uh, reveals of the characters where they show them in detail how they work and yeah, everything. Yeah. And if I uh, if I see something that that correlates my playstyle, I will usually just save the points and okay. get them. I was gonna. Uh, so okay. So you first buy the champion, and then you can buy a skin for. The yes. And uh, there are differences between the skins. For instance, it's quite clever. They, this guy. If you see any of his other. Yeah. Is, uh, the so the stats race. change as well? Or no, no, just, no, no, it's just a skin. It's just yeah. a skin. But it's kind of funny. They, they kind of uh, have no problem making fun of themselves. So they have this, he has this really dark backstory and it's this like sheriff that's, uh, all the story, all the stories of the characters are interlocked in mm -hmm. that he's out for one of the other characters in the game and blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. So his, his, his story is kind of dark. And you can see this, uh, this reflected in the skins, right? Mm -hmm. And they launched a beach theme yeah. uh, at one point in time. So they also have stuff like this, <laughs> which is, you know, a silly idea. Uh, 
Um, besides the skins themselves, they also have what I believe they call... Oh, a pool party. Yeah, pool party. <laughs> what I believe they call um, makeovers, which are actually where they also give them new, uh, new sound samples, new animations and everything. And those oh, yeah. are typically really, really pricey. Yeah, this guy is also just, you know, a really, like, monkish, yeah, yeah. hardcore character. And they launched, launched, like, a kickboxer theme for him, a Bruce Lee theme for him. And the pool party theme for them. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Isn't there uh, a League of Legends film in the works? Or something like that? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. I haven't heard about it. I just wanted to show Teemo. Is this because they're, they're, some of their animated trailers are really nice? Yeah, but well, Riot Games is, uh, is as you started by a couple of um, former Blizzard guys. Yeah. And also in the meantime, they have like just like hired so many people. So some of the CGI trailers that they do almost seems like we have too much money. Yeah. We have to do something cool with it. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, um, Timo is uh, is not necessarily one of the best characters in the game. He uh, they have these statistics uh, a couple of times a year, and he's always the character killed the most. But he's kind of the official, uh, unofficial like uh, mascot of the game because okay. he's so cute. Oh, yeah, and. Um, they you they launched like a couple of different uh, cool things for him skins wise, um, but they also did did a complete makeover him, and that's astronaut Timo. So usually he has uh, his has like this little um, pipe that he blows like yeah. uh, darts in. Here he has like a laser gun and he looks like he's running on the moon when you use him and he sets up like little satellites and stuff like that. And you have to pay like big bucks for, yeah. uh, for skills like that. 1,350, those are the premium points. Yes, and uh, I can just go in so you can actually see the exchange rate. Um, potentially, yeah. Okay, so that's 1,350, right? Yeah. Okay. So that means, and he's actually, he's been put down in price because yeah. it's sold now, but it's still like 10 euros. 10 euros. Yeah. But okay. Yeah, um, there was a couple of skins when they launched. They were like 150 Danish kroner. Yeah. Which is a lot of money. But okay. You okay. are playing currently as what character? Um, well, I have a whole lot of characters to uh, choose from. Okay. I'll start. No, I mean, like, wh what do you prefer the these days? Um, I usually play as a tank called Mundo. He's able to absorb a lot of damage, still hold one lane, which is also a tactic, yeah. and uh, and just uh, really dominate in, uh, in team fights. I'll uh, is it like in uh, Dota 2, uh, is it the same in League of Legends, where sometimes it's a better tactic to kill your own bots? Uh, that's that's called denying, yeah. and that's actually not a part of League of Legends. No. Which okay. is uh, no, but it's a good point because it's it's one of the things that a lot of Dota players are like. League of Legends isn't hardcore enough. It's all uh, colorful colors, and and uh, you can't deny anything. So, yeah. it is it is uh, definitely a, a big tactic in uh, in um, in Dota too. Yeah. I'll just create a bot game so that I can show you the basic game. We talked about the maps before. Yeah, this is the standard map. So you have three lanes. That goes like this, this, and this. Yeah. And usually when you play five on five, you have one character in each lane, maybe two in one, and you have one character jungling. That's going on, calling, uh, killing all the creeps in the jungle. Yeah. And uh, at specific points up here, there's like a big dragon called Baron Nasher that gives a huge buff to all your team. It's also the, the biggest uh, and most difficult creep to kill in the game. And down here, there's a dragon that just gives you an immense um, gold uh, bonus. So securing them for your team is one of the biggest tactics in the game, or one of the most important tactics in the game, and can basically win you a game in, in the long stretch. Okay. So Summoner's Rift is the basic map. The Crystal Scar is another map. Twisted Tree Line, that's for three on three. Mm -hmm. And Howling Abyss is the ARAM map that I talked about before. Yeah. We'll go into ARAM a later on. So I'll just... It's always two teams versus yeah. each other. Yeah. It is. Uh, that's uh, why I point out in, uh, in Dragons and Titans that it's kind of cool that it has this whole single player campaign. Yeah. No, but I also meant like you can't, like, there can't be three teams or four teams. No. no. Okay, so I'll just add a bot. I have three bots, one for each lane. Um, and unfortunately, when playing like this, you can only uh, play with beginner difficulty, and it's really, really easy. <laughs> And I'm not saying that because I'm hardcore or anything. It's just 
it's purely for learning the basic mechanics of the game. Yeah. Which is what we want to display. Yeah. Right now. He just tells me that I won't get any IP or XP for uh, for a match like this. That's okay. Okay, so the computer has already chosen two teammates for me. Yeah. Uh, Ash is a long-ranged uh, DPS, um, and uh, Lux is um, uh, ability power. That's uh, magic power in this game. Yeah. I should probably. Uh, I talked about Mundo before. It's this big guy, called, uh, kind of like uh, Mr. Jekyll and Hyde, in that he can tra transform himself. Okay. But for this match, I will go with the um, cannon. He's also ability powered, and I have a setup for him. So these are my runes and masteries. I should have showed them before. Um, Mm, runes are something that you can buy that gives you an extra boost uh, in, the, for instance, this gives me more ability power, NG regen, and, and right, magic penetration it. in the way that I've set up. Those cost IP points. Masteries is something, uh, it's like points that you can place in, uh, in skill trees, yep. and those you unlock by leveling up. Okay. Okay, so I'll just choose... Master page for offense. I can go like this. And also, I have spells. Yeah, I won't have time to set them up. The spells are also small bonuses that you can uh, unlock uh, by just playing the game. Okay. For this round, I've taken Flash, which le which lets you uh, let me uh, teleport my character just for a small bit if I need to get out of a fight. And I've taken something called Ignite that will sap. Uh, uh, health points from uh, from an enemy uh, over time. Okay. It's a pretty offense-based build that I've chosen here, but uh, that's how I prefer to play cannon. Um, I talked about uh, there's all characters are um, either set up with attack damage or ability power. Ability power is the magic power of the game. Yeah. Um, what Riot Games have done to uh, to actually make the game even deeper is that uh, most characters can actually be built either way. I mean, you 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 constantly see, uh, especially pro players, for instance, with a uh, character like Ken. Ken is made as an ability power uh, character, but at one point of time, people started to find out that he can actually also play be played as attack damage, and he was insanely effective as attack damage. Okay. Um, but they've and kind also, of when, it like when people will, would meet him in the lane, they would expect him to be played yes, in a certain exactly. way, and then he would just roll them over. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of the smart things is that um, you, of course, earn uh, gold by uh, killing creeps mm -hmm. and everything. Um, and there's like all items, and you can just write what you want. So blah blah blah. Yeah, you can just write what you want, or you can use the recommended. And that's really helpful for new players. So I will just go for a couple of boots, makes me run faster, mm -hmm. and some health points. Potions, yeah. Yeah, yeah health pots, health potions, yes. Okay, so we'll just lock the camera because we're filming this. So it'll follow Ken. So three abilities and one standard ability. The, his standard ability is that every time I hit something, he will mark something with a little energy mark. Yeah. And uh, the fourth time I marked them, they will be stunned for a couple of seconds, or actually one second. So, just to cover the controls. Yep. Uh, you select movement with the mouse. Right button. And then uh, Q were for uh, attacks. Yes, I have to place and a point. And D, in. F and B for abilities or what? Q, W and E are my standard abilities that I have to unlock with the, with the, with the skill point. Yeah. I'll just choose this one. R is my ultimate, which I will unlock at uh, level six. Okay. And uh, D and F are my. Um, Those are the skills spells. that you select, uh, spells that you yes. selected before the round. Yep. And there you, we see a bot for another hero. Yep. And, and he's just playing. Fight. Yeah, he's uh, a tank. Yeah. One of his abilities is that every two t every two seconds, I believe it is, he charges up like an ability that. Uh, that makes uh, the next attack on him um, notified. Okay. So that's really, really helpful when you're going into a battle. Yeah. And uh, one of the techniques... That, uh, it's a way to negate uh, like a very heavy attack. Yep, exactly. One of the, the, the abilities you need to learn as soon as you start playing um, 
League of Legends is to uh, last hit. That means letting the, the opponent's uh, creeps getting all the way down in health before uh, shooting them or before taking them out. Okay. And that way I can force, and I'm doing a poor job of it right now, and that way I can, uh, I can force uh, my opponent to get all the way um, down to my tower. Wow, I'm taking a lot of damage. Uh, meaning that I can control the pace of the fight. By, uh, by him having to go all the way down here, means that my teammates can uh, attack him from behind, from the bushes. Yeah. So uh, it's a technique that you definitely need to learn. And I'm sucking at it right now. Apparently I can't play and talk at the same time. <laughs> and it's... it's um, and so, the, the aim of the match and uh, like the winning conditions are what? Um, that is to get to... Uh, destroy the towers on your way and get to... Um, like, like the one right here? Yes. That is our Des tower? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Destroy the towers on, uh, on my way and I get to the enemy's base and... Uh, um, shut down their, uh, their center, okay. or the nexus, as it's called. So see, every time there's the force, some rubble of him, is uh, because he's uh, recharged that ability I talked about before. Yeah. So... Um, okay. I'll just... Okay, so... You should... See, now it's glowing. That means the next enemy I hit, I set a mark on. If I set three marks on an enemy, enemy yeah. and I hit them with the fourth attack, I'll stun them. Um, I can set marks using that lightning bolt ability. And you level up. So what, you level five now? Uh, yeah, level five says right here. Oh, yes, yes. I was looking down in the left corner. It also says, yeah. See, I just marked him, marked him again. Yeah. And if I run into him now, he should get stunned. He's stunned. That's actually three marks, not four. Ah, okay. I mean, the, the, the build of, of uh, each match, match in uh, League of Legends, oftentimes, unless you uh, play way, way better than I do, um, it's kind of uh, slow because you need to build up your gold stash. Yeah. Um, and uh, even though it may, might look kind of passive just killing creeps, it is actually a huge tactical advantage uh, to your team. Yeah. And usually when playing with other players, I would already have uh, gotten assists on the, uh, on the mid here because they would uh, be coming up to, uh, to poke him. Just to let him know that he can't advance so far uh, in my lane. And I just used my flash to flash out. <laughs> so I'm level 6 now, that means I just unlocked my ultimate. That's this thunderstorm, yeah. slicing maelstrom. Which is an uh, area of uh, area uh, attack. Yeah. So usually if uh, I was playing against another human, his team would be both... Oh, his team would be screaming at him right now because he isn't getting any creep kills. That means I'm at uh, I'm at Bantam in gold. Yeah. They would probably also be screaming at me because I'm sucking at getting gold right now. <laughs> if I go into the screen uh, by pressing tab, you can see I have 35 creep kills to his 13 right now. Yeah. And that's like... That's a difference that shouldn't exist. In a proper game. So after this wave, I'll head back and buy something. God, I'm sucking at this. That's funny, you're saying, oh, I'm sucking, I'm sucking, and I'm, I don't get what's happening. <laughs> The, the creeps here, I keep hitting them before they're all the way down. 
And that means that uh, my uh, my creeps oftentimes gets uh, the last hit on them. In and that you don't get the gold. That I don't get gold. Yeah. And also, oh, okay. see, that was yeah. kind yeah. of good. And also by uh, by pushing the lane. When I say push the lane, it means that you know you get I'm closer to yes. By pushing the lane, I'm um, especially as a as a, like a character as, as Ken here. I'm um, I'm kind of. Um, exposing myself in that usually down, from down here if I uh, go into the bush I can actually hide so I can't see anything be, uh, besides or in front yeah. of the bush um, so usually by playing a character like Kenning who's really squishy and going all the way up here I would be an open target yeah. for uh, for my uh, for the enemy team to come gank me Okay, so I'll just head back, since I pushed it. Yeah, so you pushed it into uh, near his statue, yep. which is a turret, basically. Yes. So there's more uh, likelihood that the turret will take out your creeps than him. Exactly. And he doesn't get the gold. Okay. Um, expert, I'm, I'm getting expert. There. I'm getting there. Yeah, getting no, there. but it's, it's uh, exactly right. Okay, so I will buy... I should probably go for some. Okay. So these items, um, they give me a lot of ability power. Nick, Nick Holmberg, sorry to cut you off. Nick Holmberg, of course, is in the chat. Trolling? Uh, yes. By any chance? Thomas, go online and play someone, and let's see if you know how to play. Shut the freak <laughs> up. <laughs> Actually, I, I'm thinking we should probably... Uh, yeah, you, you were talking about going to a mode where there's not really creeps, but it's just heroes versus heroes. Yeah, it's called... Because it's a shorter match we don't have. Uh, exactly. It's called uh, ARAM in short. Oh, yeah. That's all random, all mid. And yeah. it means that the game actually chooses uh, a random hero for you. Yeah. And instead of relying on, uh, on getting gold from... Uh, First blood. Yeah, that was in one of the other lanes. Ah, uh, so um, one of the heroes yeah. uh, on the other team is dead. Instead of uh, relying on getting gold from, uh, from killing creeps, it's pretty much just hero on, on hero. Um, so should we do that? Yeah, let's... Uh, should we start a new profile or should I just use... No, no, let's just uh, take yours on the road. Okay. Normally, of course, leaving the game yeah. is like you get. Yeah, I hope the bots don't complain. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny you should mention that because... Um, for a long time, we're talking about a, ye a couple of years here. Yeah. It still had the message, like playing against bots, it still had the message when you le left the game that you're now leaving the game, you will get punished. And, and everyone was like, really? I'm just playing against bots. <laughs> but, um, but I mean, I guess if you're uh, you know, training the game, you have to learn all aspects yeah, of it. Probably. Not get into the habit of dropping out when you're annoyed. Oh yeah, I should also mention um, co-op versus AI. Uh, it's also kind of the training mode where you can actually play against uh, way better AI than I just did. But you need to... Classic where you team against bots, uh, which we were just playing, right? Yeah. And then Dominion... Dominion is, is, uh, uh, is another game mode where you have to uh, um, hold some key points on the map. Yeah. Uh, and you get points for... Team up against bots to seize capture points and declare Dominion over your enemies. Okay. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> okay, so PvP, ARAM, Howling Abyss. All right. Match me with teammates. And uh, sometimes it takes a couple of seconds. Sometimes it takes really long. Yeah, it says approximately a minute, and then it's counting up the actual time. Yeah. Okay. And also, uh, unfortunately, you oftentimes get into uh, the process of uh, getting a hero in ARAM. Yeah. And someone sees that they have received a hero that they have no interest in yeah. playing, and they just Back fail. Up. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, you, you can um, you can exchange the heroes that you get with, with other people on the same team. Okay, so so if you feel lucky, um, come on, come on. Yeah, let's see if okay you get a hero that you're interested in playing with. I didn't no. at all. The more games, yeah, that's perfect. I actually want to play Mundo. Yes, don't quit, don't quit. Please, no one leave the game. And I'll choose and it all attempt. worked out. Oh, that's wrong. Um, so Mundo is, uh, I think, really effective. Yeah, uh, like the you said, it was like a, a Jekyll and Hyde. 
yeah. type of character. Yeah, he has, uh, I don't know if you can see it in this picture, there's actually a syringe sticking into his shoulder here. Ah, okay. So he just injected himself and turned into this. Yeah. Um, he has he like... He has some other skins. Do you yeah, he, he has one of the best, actually. Corporate Mundo. Where instead of a cleaver, he's actually uh, throwing a attaché map. <laughs> uh, with papers like flying out of it. And he's... Um, no way. And he's kind of this degenerate. Uh, he, he talks like, oh, Dr. Mundo, and stuff like that. Okay. And he still does that as, uh, as corporate Mundo. He just talks about business stuff. Okay. So here we are, heading into uh, our game with actual players now, this time around. Mm -hmm. uh, you might have noticed before that I wasn't able to see what the other team was getting, yeah. players. Uh, you get that here. And you get it here. So that is a healer, that's a brawler. He's just insanely dangerous no matter where he is, Draven. Okay. That's uh, DPS, uh, long range, and that is also a brawler who's usually used as uh, a jungler. Okay. So he, he, he can still be really, really good in this map, but he's like, he has some deficiencies uh, on this map, I think. Okay, so the guy to look out for would be Draven. Draven, and our, on our team, if, uh, if Katarina just starts getting rolling, starts getting the kills, she's an assassin, she can just take out like a complete team in a matter of seconds. Um, Vygar here is, uh, is a really, really, really um, effective uh, mage who can uh, also capture people in this little prison of his, his which means he can, uh, he can choose out um, players that we want to take out. Yeah. Now, a uh, question in the chat. Uh, do I see the skin you have bought or do I only see it if I have bought it too? I think he means is like, for example, we have Leprechaun Vaker here. No, no, you you uh, you if see you all the skins. If you buy a skin and you use it, other players playing against you will see that skin. Yes, that's kind of the way the, the mark of, of new skin, skins. Yeah. Um, yeah. For instance, the, the, the Teemo skin I showed you before. I mean, when it was launched, it was insanely expensive. And still, like within hours, I saw like 10 players who had it, mm -hmm. which meant probably that a hundred players more bought it and on top of that and it just escalates. Okay, we've been waiting here for a while. So yeah. it's, it's still loading for Nocturne down there. Yeah, right? you can see Nocturne, He's, uh, he apparently has a really slow computer. Uh, um, get an SSD, brah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in, uh, in uh, this mode, uh, your gold regeneration also uh, is much quicker and you get, um, you get three skill points from start. Yeah. So my role is absorbing damage. So boots of speed. And uh, a condition, which uh, gives me 10% cooldown. Cooldown reduction, okay. Yes. And also some health pots I'll go for. Usually in, uh, in uh, the other um, game modes, you can always go back to your nexus yeah. and recharge your energy. That doesn't work here. Okay. So you get forced into battles. At the side of this uh, map, there will uh, once in a while uh, be small health um, items that will spawn, but you have to use them tactically for your whole team. And of course, I'm playing with Dimwits, who have already gone into the bush without looking what's happening, and Jax is already almost dead. <laughs> and he complains that it's lag. Jax, you're just now getting filmed, and everyone saw it was not lag. You just suck. <laughs> <laughs> so Nocturne just indicated that he's uh, on his way down here. See, so that's you are supposed to be absolving damage right now? Yeah, but I, I can't just, I mean... I can't you can't take damage from all of them. No, I can't play stupid just because everyone else is playing stupid, basically. So I, I think we're seeing here the beginning stages of... Uh, Rage! Of, uh, yes, of what I've heard. Uh, connected with this game a lot, yes. which is Team Rage. Um, you, you're so right. I mean, yes. the, the everybody is stupid and playing badly, <laughs> and that's why you can't do anything. Um, pretty much. Okay. No, um, there is something to it though. This is a game where you will get, uh, oftentimes, will get flamed if you don't uh, play your role um, as you're supposed to, because. Um, you, unless you have a huge advantage in, uh, oh, Jax. Jax! Stupid mother... <laughs> <laughs> I 
Unless, uh, unless uh, your skill wise have a huge advantage in four players, you can't win a fight without all five players playing up uh, or playing their roles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and of course, if you would have a oh microphone no. and you were speaking with them See, in the game, uh, you would be more constructive. I would never speak with random people on the microphone in a game like this. Oh, I just got a kill. Boom! Yeah, okay. Suck it, Nick. Actually, um... You get the last shot? Uh, get the it's gold! It's not, it's not nearly as important in this game. Okay. Okay. Um, because my gold re regeneration is really high. Um, a lot of people would probably uh, rightfully so complain that it's Mundu that got the kill because Mundu doesn't necessarily need the kills and the, the, the gold as much as some of the DPS characters in our Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, it wasn't... I only... Uh, oh, that's the health part I was talking about before. Get back, Jax. Okay, that's good. Uh, Another kill for Mundo. Here, jump in. Uh, get Mundo, some, get some kills and absorb uh, damage. Don't. Saved uh, Krat. Uh, Krat thirty-seven there. Okay. And I'm nearly ready for my ult, which is a godsend on this map. I'll show it to you. Yes, because you were level five now. At level six, you unlock your ultimate. Yes. Uh, now, if you're killed, how long does it take to regenerate? Right away, or is there...? Uh, that actually depends on my level. Okay. The, the higher level you are, the, the longer it takes. The longer it... Okay. Yeah, that the, so, yeah, so yeah, the punishment yeah. is more severe. Yeah. Should have known better. No, but uh, just, uh, just by, uh, by actually... Um, like, uh, noticing the tactics behind uh, what... Uh, what was going on in, uh, in the main mode, you uh, showed more promise than a lot of the players that are actually playing League of Legends. <laughs> so in this mode, uh, especially for Mundo, I will be buying stuff that gives me more health and uh, lowers my cooldowns, because that means that I can use my ultimate uh, more. Oh, crap. Wrong button. Yep. Mouse. Okay, we've lost Vitras. I'll just grab this. Okay, so now okay, I'm at level up. You're level six. You got your ultimate. Yeah. So my ult or Mundo's ult is uh, an insanely fast recharge of HP, okay. and the cooldown on it isn't uh, isn't that uh, high as well. So it basically means that I can... Uh, oh yeah, it also gives me a speed up. So it basically means that, that uh, I can either escape uh, a fight that we're losing or run directly into um, a fight knowing that I have a huge health boost uh, yeah. whenever I want it. For instance, like this. Oh, I die! You know how I activated my boost. Okay. So, Emilio got you. I was actually on uh, the return with his alt. <laughs> Again, Nick in the chat, I almost want to play this so I can get good enough to beat Thomas. You will never do so, Nick. I just mm -hmm. think you uh, issued a challenge. I would like to see. Let's call that. Nick, you have like, what, what should we say? A month? Two months? How many hours are in a month? Uh, uh, <laughs> People are going crazy. They usually do in this game mode because it is very much about. Well, actually, it's not about uh, hero kills, but that's yeah, that's what oftentimes it, what it degenerates to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Mundu doesn't care about your damage. And then Boom! But I stole your kill. Fuck that. But again, the objective is basically the same. You want yeah, to destroy that statue, yep. you want to get into their base, and you would want to destroy exactly. the, yeah, what, what's in their Ooh. base, idol or... So Katarina already has six kills and two deaths. That's, uh, that's a good start for her, actually. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, um, I, I think it's fair to say um, that I'm not playing with the best of people, and the game actually sets me up with people that it thinks are on my uh, just about my level. Mm -hmm. So I'm not the best at this game. And oh no, I'm, I'm not even trying to troll anyone here. Oh. I'm just trying to be honest. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm not. The what best you're player. saying is, is that they're not that good, but, but they're on your level. Yes, okay. exactly. And I, yeah, that's. <laughs> That's pretty much the, what I'm the, admitting. The kindest way to say that. Um. But that, I mean, that's good. You want matchmaking that sets you up with people on your level against people on your level. Yeah, and uh, sometimes, of course, you, you run into uh, completely broken matches where either it's the easiest of wins or yeah. just something where, where your whole team gets demolished by one player. And you can easily see that uh, they're way, way better. Um, so he was just marking that there's a, a health bonus up. And uh, the health bonus, of course, won't re re uh, respawn before anyone has grabbed it. So because I was lacking uh, HP, I yeah. could just as well grab it now and it uh, will start respawning soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better to take it now than to leave it and exactly. then. Yeah. yeah. Oh shoot! That's not good. Just went in. Um, the problem we're having right now is that uh, people are getting a bit too, uh, I don't know, uh, too kill happy. Okay. So instead of waiting for me to actually uh, engage, they're just running in. Yeah. Um, completely misspelled that. Yeah, well, they get it. So they just took our first tower. Ah, okay. And we can see it's uh, 12 to 13. And uh, touching back on what we were talking about earlier, the, the balancing is fair, then, you would yeah. say. Yeah, uh, you mean uh, the team setup? Yeah, yeah, like uh, how you set up in teams and against people, I mean. I think yeah, I think the game does a really good job of it. Okay. Uh, I I do get frustrated while uh, while playing um, something called rank mode, yeah. where actually uh, you know uh, move up in ranks uh, the more matches you win because I'm stuck at a rank where I get to play with players that are and I'm not even trying to uh, toot my own horn here but uh, way 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 worse than I am and I can't advance because I can't win matches with them. Ah, okay. Um, Disengage! Ow. How does the game measure and match you with opponents? Is it the level of you, your profile, or the level of the character that you're playing? Um, Meaning, you've spent hundreds of hours playing as uh, Mondo, yeah. and then you decide, oh, I want to try a uh, different class. Um, I don't actually know. They have an algorithm for it, but uh, but I, I I wouldn't be able to, uh, to give you a... Oh, disconnect that. I wouldn't be able to give you a, a, a truthful answer. No. Um, I do know that they just added a mode to the game where before joining a match, you can actually um, you can actually let the game notice uh, what kind of a character you want to play. Uh, for instance, I want to play a healer, and that's what I want to focus on. Yeah. And the game will set you up with other players uh, so that uh, you make up a complete team, which is a really nice addition. I can't say if it works, uh, probably, but uh, the idea is really good, I think. Okay. In that you can uh, you can focus on playing what you uh, what you want to play, because oftentimes you get into uh, to a game where it's very very clear that a lot of people just want to play, uh, um, for instance, the most uh, the most uh, heavy damage giving uh, DPS or uh, or mage or something like that, because it's usually those kind of characters that gets the most kills. Yeah. 
uh, and it sort of can ruin a whole match when, um, especially if you end up with a team that only has damage and no healers or no tanks or anyone. Yeah. And oftentimes you uh, you end up in situations where um, healers are the most or oh, less played characters because how can it be more fun running around healing your team instead of uh, instead of killing other opponents, right? Yeah. But I mean, with my untrained eye looking at this, uh, it seems like uh, your team is kind of losing. Oh, mm. it's actually 17 to 15 right now. Okay. So we are pulling ahead and gold, I would presume. Um, but the goal isn't uh, hero kills, or there are there limited respawns of heroes? No, there's not limited respawns, but uh, as I said, uh, the more you... Uh, the longer you have to yeah. wait. And yeah. of course, uh, the longer enemy heroes are out of the game... Yeah, the further up the lane the enemy yes. team will get, for sure. But I mean, we've taken out one tower, aggressively seeking uh, the second tower. Actually, we haven't taken out a tower yet. Oh, okay. It's the enemy team who's done that. Dang. But that's, I mean, it looks right now as if we're pulling a bit ahead, 17 to 15. And I would say that we probably have the stronger team in, in overall if we can just, you know, manage our roles. So yeah. um, if we just take it like... Yeah, I was going to say, if we just play just a fucking bit tactical here, Instead of just going balls out every time, we should be able to win, but apparently that's not in cards. Nope. Stupid. And you're slowed. And... Am I wrong? No, there are only two heroes alive on your team. Yeah. You and <laughs> the Leprechaun. Vygar. Which... I mean, it's not the worst combination that we have to be only two characters. Okay, like. it's, it's it's time to go Leroy Jenkins. And, uh, uh. Okay, here we get two heroes coming up to help. Actually, it, it uh, sometimes can be a, a really good tactic to um, to let some of your team get uh, gets get killed uh, if it means that the whole rest of the other team is left with low health. Because that means that you can come out with a full team, full health. Full health. You can get like uh, yeah, and then you can instant sweep. clear. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Plain stupid. Kick for death recap. I, I want to see that again. Oh, it's uh, it's no, just a okay. recap. Of, uh, okay. I was hoping damage. it was an instant replay. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun, right? Wow, that would be fun. I would love that. <laughs> Uh, doesn't it say? I'm getting behind here. Oh, it's it's 2800. Oh, no. 2600. Yeah. So this is really good armor that also gives me uh, um, gets me to be uh, constantly engulfed in flames, which means that uh, everyone who gets, gets close too to close me catches fire. gets damage. Okay. Also, f no, not friendly. So not friendly. No, no. no. Then don't say everyone. When <laughs> Jack's also about it, that's uh, just a sign of insanity since he can't use it for anything in this map. Thank you, Jax. <laughs> that's a perfect setup, perfect usage of Jax the character. See, in an instance like that where I'm just getting uh, crazy on the tower, yeah. uh, my team should be focusing on the tower instead of focusing on the enemies. The enemies. Yeah. Um, but again, we have crazy jacks on our team, so... Hey, he's like on fire and all cool and shit. <laughs> all cool and shit. Sure. Yeah, I think it's time for... Uh, dance. <laughs> <laughs> because why not? Because why not? Petras. Uh. Dead again. And I'll try to slow him down. A pretty much full health. Team oh, coming, running no, up the lane. The same there. I did. Fortunately, he has no health left, so he won't really be that useful. Now, you still haven't unlocked uh, the ability on B. Uh, right? On B? Or is it that? You have the D, F, and B keys for. Uh, 
Oh crap. Yeah, D DNF are my spells. Yeah. Uh, so they are unlocked from the start. Okay. Oh, we're losing this battle now. Um, uh, the one is my flash, which means I can just uh, teleport away from a battle. Mm -hmm. I actually have used that. And the other one is uh, like health boost, instant health boost for uh, myself and everyone around me. Yeah. B is my uh, teleport back to the base button. Ah, okay. okay. Button. Yeah, so that's Hold why, because you, you used it, it's still not loading. Anymore. I'll use the health thingy there. Yeah. Come on, Mundo! <laughs> oh, didn't get him. Yeah, he got hit, but uh, he didn't die. Okay, heal them. So we are 4 to 2 right now, and we have two creeps who can take some punishment from the tower, so we should be able to. Oh, we are not. Does the tower uh, regenerate? No, no, no. Does it prioritize creeps? Over here. And then actually, if I attack an, uh, an enemy hero under the tower, yeah. it will start shooting on me. Okay. Okay, so everyone go for the freaking tower. Yes. That was one. You get the kill. The tower. <laughs> that is. The tower get. Oh, I also got a kill for uh, Rengar. Yeah. yeah. The reason Jacks probably bought um, the uh, what's it called Sunfire Cape is uh, because uh, he's an assassin, so he's oftentimes in the middle of fights. But I would reason that oh, I'll kill more for Mundo. Boom. Okay, go for the tower, man. I'll be pushing the tower. Stand. But I would reason that the, the amount of damage he's able to give in a few seconds he's, uh, he's in a battle with Sunfire Cape is not really worth it. Yeah, we nice. going for the towers, so I'm not worth it. Okay. So I just... 30 versus 27, so still doing fine. Yeah. We actually turned the match around. Yeah. So, uh, anything you want to play so far? Or, uh, maybe. I mean, it, especially this mode, is pretty straightforward. There's, of course, still a lot of tactics to learn. Um, but this is definitely a mode that you can jump right into. Uh, seeing that it's pretty much pure battle. But okay, for example, now, why are you backing all the way down, back um, down the lane? Because the other team is almost all of them on full health. And we were uh, three on five, I believe. Okay. So, so this is uh, if they, oh, fuck. sorry, um, if they manage to destroy this one, yeah. they will actually start, or the base will start um, uh, spawning uh, mega creeps or big creeps. Okay. Which are way more effective and uh, way uh, harder for us to kill, but also giving only... them a strategic strategical advantage. Yeah, because they only have one yep. uh, thing left to destroy to win. Okay. But I think probably shouldn't be saying this since I will jinx it. I think uh, our characters, our team setup, is, uh, is starting to pull ahead as we level up. Yeah. Um. There are, of course, um, characters that, that really only start to show their full potential when they reach max level. Max level, yeah, yeah and they, they get their, uh, their ultimate and other yeah. skills. Exactly. So we can go for that there in Hibiton now, and we sh really, really should. Yeah, everybody. And they back off yes. to let you get Super it. minions. And that, of course, gives us a huge advantage. So now you start generating super minions. Yep. Okay. Yep. I thought it was. The, I thought it was like the last defensive measure. No, no, no. But no. if you if, if you have that shrine uh, destroyed, you start. Okay. No. No. See, I'm uh, I'm telling everyone with. Uh, fuck, fuck me. Oh, she did that. Uh, with the macro the ahead of you. <laughs> And to tell uh, everybody to back up. Yeah, that was actually kind of awesome of her. 
was really good. So she uh, she pretty much offered her life. Yeah, sacrificed herself for you. Yep. Ah, that's bad. Come on. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done this, though. MLO coming up from behind yeah, and thought, takes you out. I thought a while ago. No, let's do that. So I will go for... And now no, you have 25 seconds until you... Yeah, spoil. I will uh, buy uh, the Locket of Iron Solari because... Uh, Grants a shield to nearby allies for 5 seconds. It gives me more uh, cooldown. Three, uh, 300 extra health and 20 armor. Okay. Actually, I should probably... I'll buy this. Uh, this gives uh, me 200 health and 20 armor. Yeah, but also an aura that, that it slowly recharges. The Magic, yeah, instead of the health. Asked, being asked in the check. So guys are easily irritated while starting to lose in a game or when people aren't cooperating. Uh, I think we've seen evidence of that here today. And I should note that I'm usually a pretty mellow guy when it comes to uh, these sorts of games. But... Stop! He's regenerating stupid! So did I mention now yeah. really mellow? Yeah. <laughs> Teleport. Yeah, they'll grab our inhibitor. No, but... Um, there are like, as there are in most games, there are like simple, basic principles that everyone should know when playing a game like this. For instance, never go into a fight without your tank in front, which they just did. Yeah. And we pay for it with four deaths and, uh, and almost um, me as the fifth. Yeah. Which is just, I mean, th there's, yeah. you can't give me and, and, and still they're running ahead. Yeah, and, and you can't give me any reason why uh, why that should be uh, of an advantage. That's a Mega Minion or a Super ah, Minion. Ah, okay. So they are all out. If, uh, We're if still they leading 37 to 35. Yeah, but that's... I mean, if we're going to win, it's, it's uh, because we have a better late game team. Yeah. Probably. But Olaf, their tank is vicious. Get on. And health. Yes. Activate my ultimate. Nice one. Okay, so we should go for the towers now. Yeah. I'll just tank him. See, instead they're going for kills. Yeah. What we should be doing is winning the freaking game! No, no. No, no. Again, basic principles. Okay. GG. Mundo! GG. Yeah. Except <coughs> for everybody on my team. No. <laughs> so um, that's a victory. Yeah, it's a victory, but it sh really wasn't a pretty one. I mean, it was the sort of game where there's no tactics or anything. Uh, can I gnash it out there? Completely. Um, I could give like smileys and uh, recommendations and uh, like thumbs up for good teamwork. Mm. I didn't. No, no, no. Maybe, so. maybe you got some. Possibly I didn't give anyone. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you uh, the runes that I talked about before. So you can set up your, all your own rune setups. Yeah. And you can see I've used like quintessences. Quintessences? I can't say that. Quintessence of health. Yes, Regenerate. quintessence. Uh, tier Barbara. two. Okay. Um, I believe this is my... Yeah, I, this is my tank setup. Yeah. So I give myself more uh, more health and everything, and you can see the result over here. And that's a bonus I can choose to uh, to use for. And then you choose which page you're using. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's what you were choosing before. And masteries, I showed you that before. Yeah. That can also be set up for each character if you want to do so. Yeah. Uh, but it's more in general used, but also gives you like bonuses. And and so do you have a, a set? Number of points, or do you have more and more points the more you level? No, you can. Uh, you can. Uh, the max level in this game is level thirty, mm -hmm. and you can Which see you I are? have th uh, twenty-one points and nine points. Yeah, that's ah, okay. So thirty, 30 points. points. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I can uh, start a new page and uh, allocate them as I want to. Yeah. So that's pretty. But wait, much sh show me. Show me that again. 
Is, is there any way to actually reach all the way down, like in defense? If you if you only take defense, yeah, just start a new page and put all your uh, your points into one page. Just max it out. Sure. I'm just wondering if you can actually, like, max fully max out a page. Not not with all uh, the components, no. but you can get to uh, the ultimate ability yeah. in okay. on your page uh, tree. So oh. um, okay, yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to. Um, so that's pretty much League of Legends. Yeah. So we have half an hour left. I think let's uh, drop back into uh, Dragons and Titans and, Titans. and uh, drop into a public match. Oh shoot! Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, you know what? I think you should try. Oh really? Yes. Oh really? Yep. Well, let's let's I mean, give that a try. You were so eager to uh, to play Titanfall, and this is almost the same sort of <laughs> game. So. <laughs> yeah. It has Titans in it, right? Yeah. So. Oh man, I didn't realize you also sit very very poorly over here. Yeah, it's for not a desk made for what we're using it nope. for. No. Sitting. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, don't uh, mess up my uh, my game, man. Shit. So, I think uh, on the left, maybe. There. Proving grounds, battle above. What, what's the difference? Uh, I can't really remember. I'm in uh, League of Legends mode right now, so. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the dragon you had, which was this one, right? Blade Forge. And what is this weapon? This is Offense, Fracture Barrel. Iron Fist, so great in the force of the Iron Fist that the recall throws the wielder backwards and when it explodes, all the force. Okay, that's not really my type of weapon. I like, like, area denial. By the way, can we just agree on that? Uh, Take a spread shot. That yeah. Nick pretty much uh, was that. Yes, yes, he never did reply. It's funny. Yeah, spells. This is... Minion, snare, enemy dragon's damage by your ability also slowed. Not just three, locking skull. Yeah, I'll just write that and... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna take the snare. But I also want the heal. Okay. Yeah, let's just give it a go. Welcome to the Proving Grounds, Dragon Lord. Let's begin. The goal of Dragon. Oh yeah, this is, uh, is this is actually the tutorial of the, the, the main game. Yeah, so that's pretty neat. You will choose a dragon to ride and a legendary weapon to wield for every battle. For it's kind of funny that I already chose a dragon and a legendary weapon. Yes, and I find, find that voice so You will start the match annoying. at your fortress, <laughs> deep behind our defenses. But we must if you actually notice what's going on here, it's, it's kind of the Destroy same thing. Destroy our yeah. titan cage and free their titan. If you fall in battle, you will respawn here, behind the titan cage. Good luck, dragon lord. An obelisk is under attack by our enemies. We can't let them destroy it. Okay, Obelisks and then power I have the shield that protects our Titan Cage from attack. Okay. If it falls, our Titan Cage will be vulnerable. Follow the arrows and take those enemies down. Take those enemies down. The enemy has destroyed course, the Nick elemental tower and lowered right the shields on the obelisk. Hurry, oh, yeah. we must not let them destroy. Now that our territory is safe. It's time to take the back fight to up. the enemy. Up, Destroy the up. enemy's obelisk, starting with its elemental tower. What? Yeah, okay. You must destroy the elemental towers attached to the obelisk before it can be destroyed. Just as the obelisk powers the shield around their titan cage, destroying enemy obelisks will significantly weaken the shield surrounding the enemy's titan cage. Okay, upgrade. And upgrade. There you go. Yes. More attacks. You More make this look attacks. easy, Dragonlord. What item Let's did you choose? The bow? Yeah. Okay. 
give me the gold. So I'm gonna teleport back. No, can I do that here? Uh, was it, it was here. And yeah, <laughs> but it isn't anymore. Okay. Well. Oh no, that's a dragon lord. So okay. back up so while uh, firing at it. Dragon lords are much more powerful up. than minions. Now that the enemy dragon rider has fallen, we only have a few moments before he returns to the field okay. of battle. We need to destroy the enemy shrine before So he actually returns. I'm not playing against As with the obelisk, actual you must destroy uh, the elemental towers first. No, people now this is still just a tutorial. Exactly. I thought I was doing so well. So this actually, instead of in like in League of Legends, there you have that uh, the statue firing at you. Here you have turrets it's surrounding the, the statue shrine. first, mm -hmm. and then the you take out the statue. You can check on the yeah, and actually, and it's also firing at me. I believe there's uh, there's one more turret. Oh, and there's here. okay. Huh. And and uh, yeah, in, instead of. Um, Instead of just destroying a nexus, apparently here you're freeing like a titan yeah. um, that will rule the world forever or whatever. Free our titan, yes. Now, dragon lord, destroy the enemy's titan cage, free our titan, and win the battle. <laughs> so. Uh, I don't know if uh, I should be mentioning this, but in the chat, Benga saying, maybe we could, uh, it, because I uh, joke with Nick, maybe we could secretly recruit some ace players to take down Thomas and, del and deliver second blow to his ego, Force of Five being the first. Shut the fuck up, Benga. <laughs> so, come on. You've done it, Dragon Lord. You've done it, Dragon Lord. Actually, it looks like uh, the priest from uh, Castlevania. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. You if you had the option in real life, victory. would you rather be named Haldor or Dragon Lord? <laughs> <laughs> well, you clearly don't know what Haldor means in Icelandic. Nope, I don't. It means Dragon Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, what a coincidence. Let's check out the multiplayer. Uh, Want to try PvP or co-op? Uh, probably PvP. Ranked match with, with and against other players. What is uh, co-op is that? Uh, try to just uh, mouse over co-op. Uh, play with other players against yeah, You could do that. That's probably an easier challenge. Yeah. Okay. I'm up for a challenge. So, which dragon again? Was it Bladen? Yeah. Bladen Forge. So, oh, they actually have a couple of different uh, modes here as well. They have the mobile, capture points, and ARAM. Yeah, ARAM is, uh, is the mode we just played before. Yeah. Or in the try that? Sure. Yeah. Let's uh, see how it works here. Oh. You should probably unclick the others. Yeah, that's how it goes. Actually, mobile is standard. Uh, capture points is probably what's called Dominion in um, yeah. League of Legends, and ARAM is ARAM. And uh, I'm saying it here directly on the stream. I want to do another Forza challenge with Nick. That was amazing. Yes. Um, we're actually, me and Nick, we're talking about next week we're going to start uh, like a sort of gaming Olympic story versus Nick. Uh, we'll set up a side, yeah. side challenge. I just, Nick, Nick you, you're going to start a what, gaming Olympic? Yeah, we're, uh, we're still hashing out the details, mm -hmm. but it's something like I select three games, Nick select three games, wow. and then we battle each other. I want to participate in that. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Maybe we even have the, uh, the watches, like come up with bits on what games yeah yeah that, that's that, that was our uh, thinking for the next yep. next one after that mm -hmm. wait you want me to click on you is that is that why you're glowing um no it's searching for similarly ranked players yeah uh, guess that's kind of hard to find since we don't really have a rank at all must be other new players right <laughs> 
but uh, but uh, speaking uh, about the, the force there. Uh, the average weight is yeah, 45 seconds. We're speaking of the the a force uh, uh, challenge that we did at one point in time. That's yeah. actually one of the most fun uh, GLIs I've been uh, yeah. I've been part of because just uh, just like doing lap times in a car game. This is fun. Yeah, I think uh, yeah. it's uh, it's like. The simplest form is it's almost like a fighting game symbol in that everyone can relate to it. Yeah. Okay, this is taking too long. I'm gonna cancel this. Start a new. And just go for anything. Not pre-selected. PvP, any mode. Just, just let get me, me into a let game. Let me play. Yeah. There we go. So you get. Oh, you said uh, everyone gets to play. Uh, everyone who's participating gets to play. Gets to choose three games, right? Yes. Like, like I said, we're still having other details, but the idea would be that we're, we're two of us in the stream. Select three games. Mm -hmm. uh, don't tell each other what the games are beforehand, nice. and then we battle it out in those six games over a two-hour period, and then at the end, a winner is crowned. Sounds awesome. Gaming Olympics. Ready? Have you chosen a dragon? You haven't yeah. chosen anything yet. Yeah, I did. I chose. You did? Yeah, yeah, look, look, look at it. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, and actually. Oh, okay. Can buy a skin. But no, I'm going to keep it silver. Please remember this is my profile. Don't be buying all kinds of stuff. Click, click. So you have 20 minutes to win this match. Did you even see what game mode it is? No. Oh, it's MOBA. That's going to take a long time. Where do you you sure it? you should start this? Where do you see it? That's selected map, MOBA. Okay. Yeah, we'll play it for, uh, until the, the stream is over. And, and then I guess people won't see me be uh, humiliated, which is... I got that going for me, which is <laughs> nice. It, it might also be uh, one of the games that have uh, drastically uh, uh, shorter matches than, uh, than League of Legends. Yeah, so. We'll see. Now, of course, I have no idea what types of dragons these are and what sort of <laughs> how, how how, what sort of play style should I be no. playing. So I'm just going to play the doorway. I'm going to rush in and I'm going to try to kill everything. And everyone is going to be your best mate. Jungles. <laughs> okay. So do I buy anything? No, just not. So it, uh, it seems like a lot of the other people are also employing the the strategy of just rushing ahead. Yeah, we'll meet in the middle somewhere. And I mean, oh, it doesn't really does it have lanes? This it not uh, not not really in the same way, right? But it no. does have creeps apparently. That there's more things you see there. Yeah. Okay, now we are in the enemy oh. territory. Shoot. Should probably back up. It's you against four right now. <laughs> It was you against four in hey. front of three of their towers. Achievement unlocked. First blood. Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got an achievement for free being the first guy to die. <laughs> and you have a score of minus 25. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. But it is awesome. Okay, so... I think I'm gonna go down... Okay, let's go here. Our obelisk is under attack up here. You have a skill point. Uh, unlock this. Hurry up, man, hurry up! Okay, come on. Oh, uh, at your right. This, right there. Use your skill. Yes. And he's much faster than you. Okay. Yeah, yeah I haven't just played uh, League of Legends. I, I still do like the, the whole uh, thing of, of you having to uh, pick up your gold. Yeah. And uh, drop it off. And drop uh, it off, let's yeah. see, I can unlock more stuff. Area of denial attack. Engage.
Oh, you're doing something and winning. Um, I might be wrong here, but the blue dragon with the aura seems really durable. Yeah. Okay, still got another achievement, so that's fine. You into achievement, don't you? It's just a, uh, it's a nice little. Oh, you're doing okay. Yeah, the, the, my problem with uh, with Steam on that account is just that it has so many subsystems now, right? Mm -hmm. There's like cards and prizes, and I don't know what it's to true. do with all of them. Although, I mean, I have several games on my account right now that I only got because I was playing a game, it gave me cards, I sold the cards, made cash, and bought games. That is an amazing system. You have to, you, you have, you have to show me how you sell cards huh. and how you value them. Well, the, the, my uh, goal, and like how I do it, is that I find what it's been, it's been selling for recently, and then I add uh, 2%. Mm. Doesn't always work, and sometimes I have to take it off the market and put it again. Because they're kind of put there uh, like in order of when they were put up. Mm -hmm. So if it, does, if it doesn't sell like in the first day, take it might be that. a good idea to... Okay, yeah, uh, so <laughs> as to not devalue it. Yeah. yeah. So, so you take it off, you put it back, and then it's on the top mm -hmm. of uh, cars that have been listed. Also, of course, in order of price. Okay, so I have Dark Cyber roll times. Yes. Enemy halfway to the Chaos Titan, and I don't think we've got any. It's also kind of hard to understand this minimap. I'm not quite getting the hang of it. No, no. There's gold up there you should go for. Clink, clunk. Mm -hmm. So, for example, who am I on the minimap? Am I the white one there? And, and you're the one with the white ring. Okay. And you're getting squashed by creeps. So you have a score of uh, three kills and seven deaths. Deaths. I am. I don't think a lot of people on my team have a lot of love for me. Um, you're lucky that there's seemingly not a chat uh, activated right now. Well, it's all in your name, so... One of our obelisks is under attack. Oh, you hit him. You pretty much everything. Go for it. Dash, why can't you dash? Might be wrong here, but it seems like the enemy team is uh, is getting overly confident. Obstacle safety there. Uh. One of our obelisks is under attack. Okay, so I'm gonna go straight down for that obelisk. The enemy has summoned a chaos titan. Wait, what? That the means they won or what? Yeah, I thought so as well. Okay, that shrine is under attack. One of our obelisks is under attack. I haven't been using my magic skills, of course, because who needs that? So if you had to choose, um, what do you think? Would you start in this? I don't know. I mean, like, I haven't touched 
uh, League, of League of Legends, although I watched it, it looked fun with you playing it, but I have no idea. <laughs> This actually, um, and this is not mine, not this game in particular, but that's actually the, the reason I started playing League of Legends. Um, I had been playing um, a bit of Dota before League of Legends went into beta, but I was always frustrated by um, by the game being so, uh, so, so... It, it seemed like only made for the people who actually created the game. Uh. It was so full of itself, kind of. Uh, whereas uh, League of Legends actually uh, took the time to explain the rules and uh, explore the tactics of, uh, of the map and the characters themselves. Um, okay. And there's a lot of games that have started to kind of mimic that uh, in the mobile genre, but... Oh, you mean actually teaching people to play the game? Exactly. How novel. <laughs> <laughs> it really was until League of Legends hit the market. And Dota 2 is doing a pretty good job of it as well today. But uh, the first Dota was just... Incomprehensible. So you have ten minutes left to win the story. Yeah. Back up. <laughs> That's now four to fourteen. Doing a splendid job four to here. Fifteen. <laughs> I'll have you know. <laughs> But yeah, I'm having a hard time figuring out the roles at all. Yeah, the roles and and uh, might just be me, but uh, the the whole map management seems a bit confusing. That's probably just because I haven't uh, really went that far into the game. Well, that's an, uh, that's, that's a the, beholder. That's the chaos. Yeah. yeah. That's probably the game's um, the game's uh, version of uh, Super Minions. There's <laughs> a lot of big valve on the back. Yeah. That's funny. There you go. Seven kills. And 16 non kills? Well. You've lost an obelisk. Same guy every time, right? Kaloon. I got your number. Ugh. Remember you have a mana pool? It's almost depleted. Wh where did he go? He teleported. teleported. Okay. And drop off some gold. Go after these minions because they're easy targets and I like those. Nobody here except friendlies. Oh, behind you isn't that is that friendly? That's yeah. friendly. These are not so friendly. And, and I'm just completely stuck. Yeah. Jesus. I was, I was just also going to say they, they're seemingly way more powerful than you. Mm. Yeah. Twenty-one deaths to seven kills. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be getting a thumbs up. <laughs> or an award for the best team player. No. Nah. Yeah, just uh, start a vote to surrender. I guess. You can play meanwhile. Oh, I did, didn't even notice I had spawned. Oh, Robles is under attack. 
We're gonna head up here. One of our obelisks is under attack. He's very serious, the speaker. Wait, why can't I? Oh, okay, I need to go around. We have lost an obelisk. Son of a. <laughs> like, oh, you I actually him. killed him! Of course I did. It just looked like he was completely ignoring you. Yeah, like, just move away, Yeah, dude. but I mean, I just, I needed to charge up that ability, so... Wow, so on purpose, you actually killed another player? Yeah. I managed to wow. do that. Wow, and you just lost. I bet I, I managed to strategically kill somebody. That's true. So... On purpose and everything. For a hundred years, the Titan Astaroth is exiled from this plane. Though you may be defeated here, there are other planes waiting to be conquered. <laughs> Continue. Yes. So what? Yeah, we have kind of five li uh, minutes left. I'm willing to forego them. Yeah. I think uh, we pretty much showed uh, a good chunk of both dragons and titans now. Available for free download on Steam. Yep. Uh, you can play pretty much everything out of it. And League of Legends, which is also available, though not from Steam, uh, but also for free and uh, completely playable without you investing anything in it. Yep. So, if you liked any of the games uh, that we showed today, there's really nothing holding you back from uh, going out and playing them yourself. Nope. Hope to see you online, Dory. Um, well, now we'll that you have given a or had a taste for it. I think I owe you a couple of, uh, yeah, sure, I'll, we'll play that sometime <laughs> online, and then never doing it, ever. Heard that before, yeah. especially when it comes to League of Legends. A lot of people is just, yeah, it looks really interesting. <laughs> 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 but, it, I mean, it's, it seems like the type of game that if you like it, you really like it. You yeah, really and I, I, I do think that, uh, especially with the, the sort of people that, that are now playing League, League of Legends that have played it um, for a really long time, it has kind of developed into a, a, a newbie hostile game of sorts. Yeah. Can still find really uh, gracious players, of course. Yeah. But I think there's a whole stigma of uh, this is a really hard game to get into, it takes a lot of time, and is a harsh environment about League of Legends. Yeah. So. I mean, that's kind of what I've heard. But yeah. you say the balancing of uh, of the team seems pretty. Yeah, I would say so. And and um, I mean, it, it sounds like I'm right now confirming all the the, the stereotype uh, opinions of the mm -hmm. game. I'm not. I actually think it's it's pretty for a MOBA. It's pretty easy to get into. I would say. Okay. Yep. Well, uh, I think that's it for that's now. That's it. Yeah. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, join us tomorrow for uh, Grand Theft Auto Online with me and Nick here in the studio. And then, uh, fr uh, what, uh, what are we playing then? I should check the schedule here. I think I have it here. No, I don't have it. Join us tomorrow. We'll give you the rest of the schedule. It's GR Friday nights, of course, on Friday. And uh, then what I was talking about, uh, Dory versus Nick, might be showing up next week. I want to be part of that as well. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if we uh, will allow you. But. Thanks for joining and uh, see you again uh, right here tomorrow. Same time as always, weekdays, uh, 1600 hours Central European time. And uh, until then, see you on the flip side. Bye.